Hi and welcome. In this quick video, I'll show you how to use Windows 10 Video Editor. It's similar to the old Windows Movie Maker, so those who know about Movie Maker will find this video editor very easy to use. Our little project will be a slideshow of the Animal Kingdom with images, videos and music. So, let's start. To open the video editor, just type video in the search bar. We want to start a new project, so I'll delete my test project, so you can see how to delete projects that you accidentally made or something. To delete the project, click on this box over here and click remove. Don't worry about your images and media that you use for that project, it won't delete them, just this project file. Click this new video project, start a blank project or up here new video and a new video project. Name your video to something like Animal Kingdom Video. First, you need some images and videos for this. I usually go to pixabay.com to download free images and videos that are completely free to use. You don't need to pay anything and you can use it however you want. So, download some images or videos, or click in the link in the description and download project files. While you are here, you can also click subscribe or hit the like button. You can download free music from the YouTube library that you can freely use as you want. Just go to the dashboard and click on the audio library. Over here, type in relax and choose attribution not required. And download this Breathing Planet music which is awesome for our project. Before you start, click these three dots over here and make sure it's a 16 to 9 landscape. This is important because you want to have a modern resolution for your video. Let's import all the media into the video editor. To do this, you can click this Add Media and choose from PC. Or just drag and drop media in this area. I'll drag and drop my project files. And you'll get this error. We couldn't add the following files to the project library because they're not photos or videos. That's because we tried to import music also. Just click close, it's not a big deal, we will cover this when we are going to import music. This is your project library, this is where all your images and videos are. Down here is a storyboard, this is where you sort your images and videos from the library. Let's first create a title card. Click here to add the title card. Over here you can change duration, text and background color. Let's add the title text. Click up here and type in the Animal Kingdom. Over here you can check some nice fonts and intro animations for your video. If you choose electric, for example, you can click the play button to see the effect or you can click and drag this slider to move very quickly through the animation. I'll go with some simple classic intro for this purpose. You can choose the one you like, of course. Over here at the right bottom you can choose the layout of your intro screen. This is good if you have lots of text on the screen and want to sort things out. When you are done, click done, of course. Over here, on the right side, you can preview your video. Right now we have only the title screen, but we will add some images and videos shortly. Just one thing, change this background color to be green since we are talking about nature. Okay. Now, add images and videos you want to your storyboard by dragging and dropping them from the library. You can sort them out by clicking and dragging where you want. To see how your video looks, move this slider to the beginning and play the video. We can see that some parts uh, of the video are very long. You can see the duration in seconds in the corner. But first, let me show how to import music first. You can click on, the, on this background music and choose some music for your project. But what about the music that you download from uh, the YouTube library? 
In this case, click this button Custom Audio. First, choose the first card, your title screen, and over here click Add the audio file. Find your audio and click Done. Move your video to the beginning and click play to hear the music. Ok, we have music in the video. Let's now reduce the duration of videos and increase the duration of the images. To reduce the duration of the videos, click on the video you want to reduce and select this trim option. Now select this blue bar and move it to the left. You can see how long your video will be here. When you are satisfied, click Done. Now do this for all videos that you want to reduce the duration. But we have one image here and to increase duration, make sure that image is selected and click here Duration. You can choose duration or type it in the field. You can see the duration of the whole video here. If you want to speed up the video, you can select your video and then click this speed icon and set the speed of the video. Do you see those black bars around videos and images? That means that your video is not 16 to 9 ratio. Be sure when you import your media that size it at least HD which is uh, 1920 to 1080 and you will not have those black bars. But if you didn't manage to find that size, just click this remove black bars and you will be fine. Also, if you want to improve or zoom around your video, make sure to click on this effects icon and choose zoom or pan. You can add some 3D effects by going 3D effects and choose something over here. Also click this 3D library to import some 3D objects. Unfortunately I didn't find transitions in this video editor which will be a nice addition to it. But you can always use old Windows Movie Maker for that. I have a bunch of Movie Maker tutorials for you on my channel, just click up here to check it out. Ok, before we export the video, let's add some text. Select a video or image where you want to add text. Click text, just like we do in the beginning. You can play with the options to see what suits you best. You can choose when your text appears by dragging this blue slider. Click done when you are satisfied. Before exporting, make sure that you save your project. Luckily, your project is constantly saved in the background, so you don't have to think about it. It's very nice. To export your video, click Finish Video and choose the recommended settings. Click Export and choose the folder where you want to export the video. And uh, this is a quick overview of the Windows 10 video editor. If you find this uh, tutorial useful, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching and have a nice day making your videos. Bye-bye.